Welcome to the November Spotlight on Investments, brought to you by ProducersWeb.com. I'm Paul Wilson, and in this broadcast, we'll cover some of this topic's biggest trends and most insightful research. This Spotlight on Investments is sponsored by Gradient Investments, LLC. Finally, experience on your side. For more information, please visit www.gradientinvestments.com. A recent survey by human resources company Hewitt Associates shows that employers continue to restructure their 401k plans to provide positive savings and investing behavior among employees. A growing number of companies are focusing on the quality of their employees' investments rather than solely on participation levels, with employee retirement income adequacy and fund performance replacing participation rates as the most important aspects of success. In addition, many companies are seeking to make the investment process easier on workers by automating features and offering funds and tools that help employees make better choices. The survey found that 78% of companies currently offer target date portfolios, up from 58% in 2007 and just 28% in 2005. Meanwhile, 60% offer worker, workers outside investment advisory services that include advice, guidance, or managed accounts. In addition, 29% of plans offer one-on-one -on -one financial counseling, 28% offer online guidance, and 26% offer managed accounts. U.S. small businesses became slightly more optimistic in October, but remain cautious due to continuing weak sales, according to a survey by the National Federation of Independent Business. The Federation's monthly small business optimism index rose from the th for the third consecutive month, climbing 0.3 points to 89.1 in October. Meanwhile, the top business problem cited was weak sales, which have also made it more difficult for many small business owners to get a loan. According to the group, quote, with very weak plans to make capital expenditures, add to inventory, and expand operations, it would appear that many of those trying to borrow are having cash flow difficulties due to very weak sales, unquote. Finally, sectors planning on adding jobs include professional services, finance, insurance, real estate, and manufacturing. Fidelity Investments recently introduced a program aimed at offering advisors access to market analysis and industry insights. Hoping to attract and retain registered investment advisors, or RIAs, Insight and Outlook is being offered through Fidelity Institutional Wealth Services, the company's RIA custody business, as well as its clearing business, National Financial Services, LLC. According to Mike Durbin, president of Fidelity Institutional Wealth Services, quote, with the market crisis last fall, there are a lot of cases where advisors' discipline and experience were called into question. Our clients started asking us last year, tell us what Fidelity thinks. The program is set to include a weekly period called the Monday Wake Up Call, where strategists will review the equity and fixed income markets, and will also include weekly calls and access to Fidelity market analysis, business insights, and industry research. I'm Paul Wilson, and thanks for watching the Spotlight on Investments. To see more video spotlights on your favorite products and practices, Find them on producersweb.com and browse by topic.